Hi guys. Today on our math lesson, the objective is to describe a whole by a number of equal parts, including two halves, three thirds, and one and four fourths. Let's watch a short video before we get started. You look great. Hi there, Professor Burger. Thank you. I heard that we were going to do some baking in our riddle today for Colton and his friends. So I came prepared. You are very prepared. I have to admit, I wish I had a hat like that. It's perfect. Let's take a look at the question together, okay? Excellent. Okay, so Colton and seven friends want to share a cake equally. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our challenge is to draw... Uh, and show how the cake should be divided. Right. Okay, so here's a copy of the cake. Is a model for the cake. Is this nice rectangle. Nice. And we want to actually cut it into, well, let's see how many pieces we need. Well, we have Colton and seven friends. So all told, there's going to be seven and Colton. That's eight. Right. So we right. want to cut this cake into eight equal pieces. Hmm. That means each piece will actually be an eighth. Oh. So let's do it. So the first thing I would do, there's lots of ways of doing this, but let me just show you how I think about it. First, I'm going to cut it into two equal pieces. And when I do that, I'm going to try to do it right now live. Right now live. Two equal pieces. You know, that's enough cake for you and me. It sure is. That's <laughs> right. Because these are both halves. Right. So when you cut something into two equal pieces, you have halves. Two halves. <laughs> now, if I cut across and take each of these pieces and actually cut them in half, and again, mine's not perfect, I'm doing it live, but you get the idea. Then, if I cut in half again, I have one, two, three, four, four equal pieces, and that gives me fourths. Excellent. Okay, now, if I cut this side in half again, notice that now, let's see how many pieces I have. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, but they're not all equal, are they? No, they're not. So we're not quite done yet, but if I cut this side in half, then all of a sudden, like, hey, math. Look at that. Exactly. Check it out. Now we see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and they're all eight equal pieces. And so what we see is that we have eight equal pieces. Each one is an eighth. And so we actually see that we have eight equal pieces. They're each eighths. Right. And we see that if we have eight eighths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then eight eighths make up a whole, makes up the whole the whole, the whole cake. cake. Exactly. <laughs> and so what the answer is, Colton plus his seven friends can each have one eighth of the cake. And that's the answer. Yay! So Chef, Everyone gets a piece. So Chef Joy, did you like that? I loved it and it made me kind of hungry. Um, well, what if we wanted to put some decorations on it? Absolutely. We could put any kind of decorations you want. If you want to put some, what, flowers? I like love the flowers? flowers. Big icing flowers. Mm. They are kind of delicious, aren't they? I could put some on there. Okay, you're getting carried away. Oh, I love the icing. My mom always lets me lick the spoon. <laughs> yeah. Have fun thinking about math, and we'll see you soon. Okay. Now, let's take the information we learned from that video and use it. So here we have a circle that is broken into two parts. One half. The second part is one half. If we put the two halves together, we have one whole. But what if we shade just one part? That is one half of the circle shaded. What happens if we shade two halves of the circle? Then the whole circle is shaded. Okay. Now, let's look at this. This is a rectangle that we have divided into thirds. One third, two thirds, three thirds. 
remember, for it to be a third, it's got to be three parts that are equal in size. So if we colored in one third of this rectangle, we would have one third colored in. What happens if we color in two thirds? We have one third, two thirds shaded in, one third not shaded. If we shade in all three thirds, we have shaded the whole rectangle. When you shade in each section, you have set, shaded in the whole. We could do the same thing with this square that is divided into fourths. With a fourth, we have one section, two sections, three sections, four sections. So if we color in one section, we have one fourth shaded and one, two, three fourths not shaded. If we shade in two parts, we have one fourth, two fourths shaded, one fourth, two fourths unshaded. If you look at this square all together, half of it is shaded and half is unshaded. But we have two fourths shaded and two fourths not shaded. Again, we could color in one more square and have one fourth, two fourth, three fourths shaded, one fourth unshaded. But what happens if we shade in all four squares, all four sections of this square? We have shaded the whole square. One fourth, two fourth, three fourth, four fourths. The whole square is shaded. We could also divide a shape into three equal parts. One, two, three. This circle is divided into three equal parts. Just like previously, we could shade in one third of the circle and have one third, two thirds unshaded. If we shade in another section, we would have one third, two thirds of our circle shaded. One third is not shaded. And we could shade in one third, two thirds, three thirds, and have the whole circle shaded. So when we're talking about what makes a whole, each part of the shape has to be shaded to have the whole. Here we have a circle and instead of three, instead of thirds, we've divided it into four parts, fourths. Again, we could shade one fourth. We could shade one two fourths. We could shade one fourth, two fourths, three fourths of the circle. Or we could shade one fourth, two fourth, three fourths, four fourths of the circle and have the entire shape shaded. And that would be the whole. All right. So when we work on the problem set, be sure to read carefully. You're going to write the number of halves and circle the shape that has the shaded area that shows a hole. Then you're going to look at thirds and fourths. All right. Good luck. Talk to you later.